Math 3, Unit 9, Section 3. Okay, so today we're just going to be doing this first part. And um, this is dealing with exponential and logarithm equations with common bases. Okay, there's going to be a point when we don't have common bases. So this is going to be fun. All right, so this first part we have our exponential equations. And we need to solve for the variable in the exponential equations. Okay, and so for instance right here. It says, if b is a positive number other than 1, then b to the x equals b to the y if and only if x equals y. So what it's saying is, if, if each side of your equation has the same exact base, then you can drop the bases and your answer is the exponents. Okay, so if we get like bases, so right here, 3 to the x equals 3 to the fifth, then once the bases are the same, you can cancel them out and you get this equation of x equals five. Make sense? Okay, so let's try some examples. So this first one, and I have some instructions here for you, but rewrite each side of the equation to have the same base, okay? 81, can we make 81 so it has the same base of three? Yeah, what is 81? 81 is 3 to the 4th, but you want your bases to be at the same level, okay? And so we want to end up bringing this up. So what do we do in order to bring that up? It'll become a negative. So that means we have 3 to the negative 4. So therefore, what is my answer? X equals negative 4. So once you have the bases at the same level, <laughs> And, and if they are the same, you drop the bases, and that's your answer. Okay, so I'm going to give you like 30 seconds to figure out the answer to this next one. Good. Close. Good. And when you're showing me your answers, good. I'm assuming that they're negative. Good. Good, 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 good. 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 <clears throat> Good. So 16 is 2 to what power? It's actually the fourth. And if you need to, on the side, write it out. 2 to the first is 2. 2 to the second is 4. 2 to the third, you're multiplying 4 by 2, which is 8. And then 2 to the fourth, you're multiplying 8 by 2, which is 16. Okay, but in order to bring that up, it needs to turn into a negative. And so then the answer is negative four. Okay, this next one is slightly different because we have a negative x plus three, but can we change eight to be base two? Okay, make sure you're not on your phones right now. Okay, so eight is gonna be what? Very good, two to the third power. So now this is more of like an actual equation I need to solve. So if I drop these bases, we have negative and x plus three equals three. In order to solve this, what would I need to do next? Yeah, distribute the negative through. And so we'd end up with negative x minus three equals three. <coughs> and then we would very good, add three to both sides. Negative x equals, three plus three is six. And then if negative x equals six, what does positive x equal? Very good, negative six. So x equals negative six. Now, I did a lot of work here. There are some steps you could skip that I would be okay with. Are we ready to move on? Do we have questions? Okay, what's gonna be my base on this next one? Can I change four to be base two? Yes, so four is going to be two to what power? So two to the second power. Now because you have x plus two in the exponent, when you change that, you multiply your powers to power. So that means I'm gonna have two times x plus two that is already there equals two. Now this doesn't have an exponent. 
So if there isn't an exponent there, what is it? Very good. One is correct. So then we drop our bases and we can solve our equation. So I have 2 times x plus 2 equals 1. We would need to do what? Very good. Distribute the 2 through the parentheses. We get 2x plus 4 equals 1. Next we do what? Subtract 4. Good. Subtract 4 and 1 minus 4 is? Good. And then lastly we divide by 2. And so therefore x equals negative 3 over 2. Well done. Okay. I'm going to give you a chance to do this next one on your own. When you get the answer, you can show me on your fingers. Actually, I'll let you guys just set it up first. So do the first where you get your common bases, and then we'll check to see if you're right. <clears throat> so I'll give you about 10 more seconds. Okay, so how do I write 49 as base 7? Seven? 7 squared. So I have 7 to the 2x equals 7 to the second power. And we talked about how if you already have something in the exponent, you are multiplying by it. So that means I have 2 times 3x minus 2. And then you'll drop your basis and solve. <clears throat> so you guys can go ahead and finish and show me your answers. It's positive. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, good, good. Mm -hmm. Good. Good. Okay, so I'm waiting to see answers once you get them. Good. 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 So we'll work through it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start going through this now. We would drop the bases. We get 2x equals, and then when I distribute this through, 2 times 3x is 6x, and 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. To solve, I'm going to go ahead and subtract 6x to both sides. 2x minus 6x is negative 4x, negative 4x equals negative 4, and last we divide by negative 4 to both sides, and that means that x equals positive 1. Okay, <clears throat> on this next one, people sometimes make a mistake because they are trying to make 27 into 9, but 9 to the first power is 9, and 9 to the second power is what? 81. So the base 9 will not work. So what base could I use? Three, good. And so nine would end up being three to what power? Two, but then we have to multiply it by what's there, so that's actually two times two x, and 27 would be what? Three to the third power, but there's already that x minus one, so we always have to multiply powers to powers. Okay, and so now that we have the like bases, we can drop the bases and we solve, okay? And two times two x would be four x equals, here we distribute and we get what? Three x minus three. And next I would, very good, subtract three x to both sides and four x minus three x is x equals negative three. Any questions? Okay, let's see if you guys can do this next one on your own. This one will be a fraction answer.
So can we change 27 to be base 3? And so what I like to do is I just take the number, just like when I have the fraction, I just deal with the number without a fraction for a minute. And 27 as a fraction would be what? I'm not as a fraction. As an exponent would be what? 3 to the third. Well, because this is a root, what, if it doesn't say what root it is, it's actually what? 2, right? And so all you're going to end up doing is changing that into a fractional exponent. So what will this be as a fractional exponent? Very good. 3 over 2. Remember, the bottom number represents the root. And then 3, your exponent here, goes in that like the highest part in the fraction. So therefore, we can cancel out the bases. And my answer is x equals 3 over 2. Any questions? <laughs>